I am immediately starting it right after ending the last one, mainly because I want to do these skits first. Giant strength, huh? I hate to admit it, but Earth Seraphim sure are powerful. Ugh. Edna? Ouch! After using giant strength, my body gets all kinds of sore. Can you just try not to touch me? Oh, s sorry. As you can see, I have a slender build, so by nature, I can't really hold anything heavier than an umbrella. I'm the most ladylike lady that ever ladied, you know. Well, whatever. But it does make sense that using such great power has a trade-off somewhere. Just don't tell Saray about it. I don't want him to get all worried about me. Yeah, that's probably for the best. And just so we're clear, it doesn't mean that it's okay to touch me whenever I'm not using my powers, got it? Yeah, I know. Okay, so that seems to be the only one. There are probably others down there, but I'm not going to go back down and get them. Again, I don't really have the intentions on 100%ing this game like originally I thought I was. Um, and I should go through and do some of the like side quests because like there's a whole lot of murder mystery that we haven't done. But I do want to come here and I'm gonna fuse a bunch of shit. Okay, everything is fused. Shepherd! We managed to overcome the trial! Now, we have a chance against the malevolence of the Cardinal! The Fortin I remember was sincere and devout, with a sense of responsibility second to none. How could she do something like this? No, perhaps I don't have the right to say such things. Malevolence in the hearts of mankind sure is complicated. Yeah. I do hope we find a way to bring salvation to them. Someday. Agreed. If anyone can do it, you can. So, there's more of those dogs now. Maybe Dezel has some new friends? Well, that's no good. He's talking with those dogs. From a normal person's perspective, I bet we don't look any less weird. Don't lump me together with those mutts. But the dogs do feel the same, in a good way. Those dogs are so mature. If they're mature, then so am I. Give me some credit for once. Miklio is in fact him and you are the same I, I think he's the same that is kind of fantastic yes I am jumping skipping around because I do want to I just want to get to the point where now that I think about it with how I'm going to be I probably should Shepard, there you are. The church has asked the Emperor to have the Platinum Knights subdued and disbanded. They have been accused of instating a false Shepherd and plotting a rebellion. That was quick. Do you think they already got word of events in Gadadin? This is because I got involved. You're no fake. They're just making up excuses to do what they want. Go see the captain in the Knight's Tower if you want to know more. Cardinal Fortin, 
We can't underestimate her for a second. Well, I'm ready on my end. Bring it on, church lady. I love the idea of church lady. Just when we think of the idea of some like woman in her like seventies or eighties, and like the whole ass thing is she just has like a fucking like not well made castle. I don't know why. I guess <laughs> I I know what this fan is. Just like this group of people going to find some like group of like old ladies. Saray, thank goodness you're safe. Is it true the Cardinal has ordered the suppression of the Knights? It is. I suspect this letter we received was the last straw. I, Boris Strelka, have witnessed Cardinal Fortin engaging in an unspeakable ritual. Using vile magic in the Holy Shrine, the Cardinal is unleashing incessant rains upon Pendrago. The Cardinal is the one making it rain? You can't be serious! Considering the power of her domain, it isn't all that far-fetched. There are Seraphim out there who've moved the continent. Moved the whole continent? Saray, let's continue reading. Cardinal Fortin is the evil behind the ongoing curse of the Empire and its people. Regrettably, I have already fallen prey to the curse of the Cardinal. I entrust the rest to my brother, Sergei, and my comrades. If it's come to this, then we have no choice but to fight against the Cardinal. Saray, where's the Pope? There's something I need to tell everyone about that, but you might not like it. I see. So he's not coming back. I'm sorry for deciding without you. The Pope isn't coming back? But now what? He was our shield! We've been betrayed! It is we, the Knights, who shield the Empire and its people! It is we who shoved our duties onto the Pope! It is we who are to blame for the consequences! Some things we must do ourselves, rather than depend on others! I swear on my Lion's Sword! On my Lion's Sword! Wait! No ordinary humans can hope to take on the Cardinal. You've done more than enough. I do not wish for you to bear the same painful burden that the Pope had to. You know, Saray, even if it is for the people, this is still a political battle. So what if it is? Well then, how about this? We'll investigate the Cardinal's possible involvement regarding the rain from our end. In the meantime, Sergei and the others can try to convince the Emperor to believe the Knights. So, ultimately Saray means to fight the Cardinal after all? Our goal is just to clear up this mystery. Don't you want to know? Yes, I do. I'd like to find out if there truly is something causing the rain. I must apologize. It seems all I can do is put you in danger. I'm more worried about you. If the Emperor sides with the Cardinal or takes a hands-off approach, either way, you guys are screwed. If we can convince the Emperor, we should be able to capture the Cardinal. We'll get him to see the truth, for the people and our comrades. Cardinal Fortin is Croco Bomb, right? Like, that, that's the main thing I'm getting Boris was Sergei's brother, wasn't he? He was investigating the Cardinal. 
and he put his life on the line for it. Sergei seemed pretty calm about the whole thing. Look, it's, it's raining now. All he has to do... Oh, it's beginning to rain. Like, that that's what we're going. That's what we're going with, and it's great. Um, yeah. Horton being Croco Mall, like, confirms the Croco Mall, right? Like, Crocodile was the one who made it rain in Alabasta. Horton's making it rain here in Pendrago. Horton and Crocodile are the same as the Croco Mall here in this canon. That, 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 that's right, right? more to Pen Drago than I thought there was. <laughs> I'm just kind of like looking around. There has to be Oh, it's just I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. Every time. I I'm not even kidding. I've gotten to the point where I feel like I'm hitting buttons for no because I will sometimes like go to organization and it won't do anything and I don't know if it's because it's like there's a bunch of like other shit that is And by the way, until I'm able to do that like random ass like just running around being the shit out of everything, we're, we're staying it's simple. I've not been able to really like level up because I haven't been able to leave. The church is this one, right? Yeah, it looks like the church. Hey, do we really have to risk our necks out there for something like this? Yes. I think we do. I don't know about you, though. <laughs> also, I didn't get to mention this last episode. I was so stoked to get a star. I was like, are we getting a star? Are we getting a star? And then it was like... Our oh, guards? Say, this has got to be a trap. Things are going to get crazy from here on out. You said it. This feels like the second time this church has been trapped. Not, not the first time it this, but I feel like it wasn't this area. Anyways, it was like a really smart thing, and it's like a really good testament as to like whether you're going to like work with your seraph or like just shoot your seraph. Like I know like the shepherd's supposed to be like care apart and all that shit, but like that is really smart because it's like either you or your seraph has to take this, and like you force it onto your seraph. Then it's like, okay, you're going to abuse your Seraph. You constantly do it to you. It's like, oh, okay, maybe you're not that That's fine. But like, when your Seraph is like, I will, like, maybe it kill the person. But like, if your Seraph chooses to do it, it's like, you either have a really good, like, you know, sort of camaraderie with your Seraph. It's, it's really fascinating. That, that was actually, like, really fascinating. I just don't like water down hard. Now! You got it! Yes! But, even so... This is some malevolence. Do you think that it could be Mount Hellas who's possessing the Cardinal? What did the cat in the bird mask say? Me? Owl! Felt like the domain had been restored for a second. Are terrible jokes also part of your oath? I... I was really proud of that one. <laughs> I'm thinking it's not Mautelis. Desert? Why? Are you seriously laughing? Axio was a servant of Musif, one of the friends. five lords like Mautelis. What? I don't! This domain is rather strong, but not leaps and bounds different from Axios. I huh. knew it. When did you start making logical arguments? Oh no. I didn't need to look at the guide. I was just trying I used it to kind of figure out about where we are. No, 
coming up. And they're like, I'm just looking. And it's like, the following dungeon has many dead ends with no landmarks. What's inside. that? There's so something the back there. Way is to just go and it's a trap. Way. Totally a trap. But. Let's do it. A oh, hidden okay. door? Seriously, how cool is that? How about that I hit a door? I hate myself for saying it, but so cool. That's just a door! <laughs> yeah, this is where we're gonna get started. He was a former shepherd, wasn't he? Yes. I see. He seemed like a pretty laid-back fellow. Unlike certain other shepherds. Shut up. Well, there's one more thing we learned. Yeah, let's go on to the next one. Huh? Wait, you're not gonna ask her for more details? Wouldn't it be crazy useful to get info on your predecessor? There's a reason why Lila never mentioned it, don't you think? We know that much, at least. Saray, Miklio. But that reason just might be the key to all our problems. You better hope you don't regret it later. They may be kids, but they're not as immature as you'd think. written in ancient tongue. A lot. More like straightforward than um Avery, no, it's not Avery. Um Avery Technic Symphonia. And the fact that I was able to pull that out of my ass is shock. Is Okay, so basically we only have the one. Basically anything that we try to do. So we obviously I didn't do that. No, just the fight. Really just that way. That way is hard. That one's not that's water. That was now, unfortunately, the thing is, I'm not going to do that herb where pretty much any of these are. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for a ride until we get the next, like, one. If that makes sense. So I'm going to kind of just keep going with the reds. And, like, I'm, I'm assuming... Yeah, that will be fine. Let's go ahead. see how there's nothing there. That's kind of what I'm going to do. I've been through the door. There's a red mark. If that makes sense. Hey, can I mention something? Hmm? 
This is something I realized when we met the Pope, but I believe it was Cardinal Fortin who preceded the motion for war. That chief we met? I can't see him making the decision to declare war like that. So, does that mean you're going to... You want to purify the Cardinal, don't you? I do. She may have become a Hellion, but I still believe that her sense of responsibility is sincere. If you purify her, I'm sure she can be saved. I think so too. Alright then, let's give it a shot. I've got your back on this one. Rose, I... You don't need to say anything. It's just how things shook out. Something up. 
What is this? A museum? What a dreamboat. He's awfully cute. Huh, is this kind of guy your type? Oh, I don't know about that. I don't dislike it. It's lifelike and artistic. Seriously, it's almost like they're alive. Almost like they were alive is more like it. He looks like Sergei. Oh no! You don't suppose this is Sergei's brother? This statue, it's human! A hellion that turns people to stone? For real? I've heard such tales in particular. Such unpleasant cacophony. Kindly refrain from disturbing my prayer. Is this prayer of yours what's causing the rain? Yes, quite so. Why? To bring the people together through fear. The people's desperation shall serve as fuel, spreading the flames of victory for the Empire. To those who would stop me, 
I offer eternity! Look away! If you make eye contact, you'll be turned to stone! Dang! I'll break us through! Get back! <laughs> Fool! I can grant a Seraph eternity as easily as any human. Can you now? <laughs> Looks like you should have saved a little eternity for yourself. You monster! How did you... <laughs> so that's it. Dezel, your eyes. You're pretty handy, huh? Enough! No more eternity for any of you. Those who dare interfere with me. Shall be slaughtered like lambs! Here it comes. When it opens its eyes, give me the Armatus. Okay, I do have Dazzle. I How can like, you fight when you can't even see? What do you take me for? I can read everything by feeling the movement of the wind. That's rad. Maybe I was wrong about you. You've got time to flatter me and watch your own ass. <laughs> Ready, go! 
Can't purify her? Lila, try again! Okay. I have a duty to guide the people. I must. I must see it through! She's got too much malevolence. We have to stop it somehow! We can't unless the Cardinal is willing to change her way of thinking. Not gonna happen. Ray, if a heart set on justice starts generating malevolence, how do you think it should be stopped? Well... That's what her angle is. She thinks her own personal justice and a universal sense of justice are one and the same. <sighs> we'll have to kill her. Kill me? Oh, really? Tell me, if I were to die, who would be left to lead the country? What do the young Emperor and the Knights understand about politics? <sighs> if the Shepherd saves their souls, will that stop them from starving? <sighs> my... my duties! <sighs> my responsibilities! <sighs> Justice shall prevail! <laughs> I shall be their savior! <laughs> I shall be their guide! <laughs> Her spirit is shattered. She'll never be human again. Her malevolence was increased by animosity towards us. Wait! Wait. It's the only answer I can find. Sorry. May these weary bones find peaceful rest.
Why? I do recognize your determination, but even so, you shouldn't have to kill anyone. But, Rose... Remember, your job is to give life. Mine is to take it. Got that? Rose. Now then, let's leave the cleanup here to Sergei and the others. It's their job from here on out. I had always thought of Rose as tough and callous, but I see now that's not quite right. Just the opposite. Don't let her see you frowning like that. You don't want Rose's feelings to go to waste, do you? I don't. But I just... I feel so bummed. Yeah, we all do. more hits than that. This is the crest of Maltellus, isn't it? If the Celestial Record is to be believed, yes. But it's empty. Yeah, I don't get any sense of presence or lordly domain. Though, we still don't really know what to expect for signs of presence of the Five Lords. Well, Maltellus is a mysterious kind of Seraph to begin with. Like, for the Shepherd's spiritual powers. There's Earth, Water, Fire, and Wind, but there isn't one for Maltellus. My first thought was that he served as a symbolic figure in Five Lords' worship, but there may be more to it than that. Lila seems to know something. But it's probably best not to bother her. I feel sorry for her, in a lot of ways. I do wonder, how does she even come up with those things, she says? Indeed, a mystery greater even than our friend Maltellus. still feel a presence yet in Pendrago. Stronger, huh? I didn't say anything. It's obvious. I was gonna say, I just realized I could have like, at the same point, I did not have to go back. I didn't have to. I could have gone back to the same school and think about that. I never think about that. Remember, this place was in the Celestial Record. I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Oh, I actually cut it. I can't. I can't pass on. The 
village chief knew the whole thing by heart, didn't he? Impressive. The shepherd is granted four powers. Earth, water, fire, and wind. They are the blade that shall cleave the Lord of Calamity. That's just what the village chief was saying. You memorized it? More or less. He's actually pretty decent at that sort of thing. I'm sorry, Saray. You're more capable than I thought. What did you take me for? But what exactly are the spiritual powers of the Shepherd? All of nature is composed of four elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind. Each one is governed by one of the four eldest seraphim. Right. Eumacia, Amanak, Yusuf, and Hyanua. Correct. They maintain the balance of the entire continent of Glenwood. When you put it that way, they sound almost like gods. Though, they lack a certain divine presence. We feel much the same, actually. They're ostensibly the source of our seraphic arts, but we're basically never aware of them. That's the nature of the Five Lords' existence. The Shepherd's spiritual powers are most likely the result of a fortification of elemental affinity through the blessings of the Five Lords. And all to battle against the Lord of Calamity. Kind of a shame that such wondrous power has to be squandered on fighting. Now I remember. Okay, so the Ninja Kamenon is the Seraph of the Water and I remember that name specifically from the Hey, Dezel. Like, thanks for helping me out. With like, your help, we were able to win against Medusa. I only did my job. That goes for both of us. I also, I also have thoughts of the fact that she was Medusa. It, it feels like it went like, very seriously around the book. Who Medusa was, and like how it was a lot of creators. I say creators in the sense of anyone that does something like that. Um, where it's like Medusa was like this bad person. I'm not going to get into that, there are plenty of 